guys and welcome back to another wood brew video. In this week's video we're creating these really cool wooden wallets perfect for a Christmas present and we are selling some of them so if you'd like one there's a link in the description below. Without further ado though, let's get started. We designed our wallet on Adobe Illustrator and then could export it as an SVG file that ESOL could use. ESOL is the online software used to run the X-Carve. We are using some leftover walnut in our shop. We haven't done much with hardwoods in a long time, so we're excited to use walnut for this project. I mean, who doesn't love walnut? We have to first clamp our board down and square everything up. This wallet is a two-step cut that involves flipping the piece over, so it's super important to line everything up correctly. We align the file to be centered over the zero zero point and also mark the center of the board where we are cutting. We will always reference this center point and to make things even easier we added a small hole to be cut in the center so when we flip the board we just line the machine back up to the center. While that is cutting we like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this week's video. We have had our machine for over a year now and absolutely love having it in our shop. It's amazing how creative you can get with designs. And for all of you who have watched us push our creativity this year, we want to say thank you for supporting us. With Thanksgiving quickly approaching, we would like to offer you a token of our appreciation. Inventables has sent us an exclusive code that will save you $100 on the purchase of an X-Carve. They rarely do discounts, so this is definitely worth going over to their website to look around. This code is valid until November 10th, and you can read the full terms and conditions down in the description. Thanks, Inventables! Now that we have the wooden part cut out, we can get to play around with the inserts. We love that this design can be modified by using different materials for both the body of the wallet and the insert on the front. We use the inlay generator on easel to cut a piece to fit in the pocket on the front of the wallet. For the first wallet, we chose to use black acrylic and engraved WB in the bottom right corner. Once that was cut out and everything got sanded, it was time for assembly. This wallet is going to be open, so we are going to use 3 quarter inch elastic around the entire wallet to hold the cards and cash in place. We considered sewing the elastic together, but there really wasn't a good way to do so, so instead we super glued one end of the elastic to the wood and then wrapped it around once, lightly burned the end of the elastic to keep it from fraying, and then super glued the other end of the elastic on top. We used a quick setting spray to help the glue cure faster. Now it's time for the insert, which will cover the elastic. We scuffed up one side of the acrylic to give the glue something to grab onto. We used CA glue to glue that into place. And now for the most satisfying thing ever. You're welcome. To finish it all off, we used a wood wax from Walrus Oil. This stuff is great when you want a soft, wearable finish. It feels really good in your hands as well. We love how this minimal wallet turned out. The cards are easily removable, but not too easy, and easy to put back in either the back of the deck or the front. We also made a couple extra with leather and aluminum inserts. We are currently selling these on our website for the holidays. We will have a link down below for you guys to check them out. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>